you, Leos. So I've had Mercury retrograde problems already. And we're only in the shadow period right now because it doesn't go direct until the 2nd of December. So this is the third time I have tried your video. <laughs> Apparently you guys weren't supposed to get those messages. So let's try again. Um, planets, new moon is in Scorpio on the 18th. Now this second half of November is going to be focused a lot on the home family resources. And um, the new moon in Scorpio is in your fourth house of home and family. And this could, you could feel like you want to just get up and move. You want to go find a new house. You want to build a new foundation in your life. And I kind of feel like you guys are ready to do something, like we're ready to go, get going. Um, the 21st, the sun is in Sagittarius in your fifth house of romance, kids and relationships. And this could bring a, a very playful sort of quality to your relationships with your kids, with your spouse, with your significant others, or just your friends. If you um, don't have a significant other. Um, Neptune goes direct in Pisces on the 22nd. This is in your eighth house of shared resources and romance. Now, Neptune has been in retrograde for six months. When Neptune is in retrograde <clears throat> in Pisces, things tend to be like too much information is shared. <clears throat> too much, um, too many secrets come out. You could feel very suspicious about stuff. Um, the thing with this is, it could be a good thing because you can, there's no facade. You can see true colors of people. You can see how people are truly feeling about things. When it goes direct, relationships um, can have more int intimacy brought. This is going to, this is going to go on for six months, the direct Neptune. Um, there's more intimacy, um, but watch out for the codependency. Um, you could um, feel very attached to your partner and just kind of want to stay attached to your partner. Um, and things are going to be very surface level that way. You know, you won't want to upset each other. So just be mindful of that. So your cards, your cards. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you guys really want to get going. Um, the Eight of Cups. But you're very stagnant. Things are very slow right now with the Nine of Pentacles. With the Eight of Cups, this guy is really kind of being sneaky. Like, do you feel like you just need to slip away, get away from things that are bothering you, emotions that are bothering you? Um, we have the Six of Cups. This is really cool. Oh, I'm using a new deck. <clears throat> Spellcaster's Tarot. I love it. Um, the pictures depict different things to me in this deck. So if I describe a card like it would be in the original or the traditional tarot, um, and or if I describe a card in a way that it's not like the traditional tarot, <clears throat> it's because I really look at the pictures and I feel the energy of the card. So if you look at this one, you can see that old couple in the back. And those two kids are like them when they were younger. So this is like soulmates. You know, they're looking back into their past and remembering how fun and childlike and innocent they were, um, just like when Neptune goes direct or the sun and Sag. And then we have the world coming to the end of a cycle, starting a new beginning. Um, but what are what are you slipping away from? What is it that you kind of want to sneak away from? It's like. It's like you don't want to tell anybody that you want this new beginning. Or you have told somebody and they didn't really want to go for it, but you feel very stagnant. And it, it and I think it has to do with a very strong relationship that you have. And you feel like it's going really slowly. Could be with an earth sign. The Knight of Pentacles could be an earth sign. We have water here as well. So, um, the Hierophant, this is the Taurus card. However, if you look at this picture, this is like these two people are chained. 
The Hierophant has whips. That's a very controlling aspect. And so I kind of feel like you guys are feeling like you're controlled by a situation. Like you can't move forward because you're feeling very controlled. You're feeling very pulled down in a sense. Um, and you could be looking back in your past and thinking about how things were so much easier. Three of Wands and the Two of Cups. So this is like, you know, you want to be unchained. You want to be free like that bird. That woman releases the bird. And it's possibly so you can be in a relationship with a soulmate. But you feel like you have to sneak away to do it. Leave things behind that hurt you. You're feeling very controlled right now. <clears throat> what is this new beginning? Is it in the relationship? I believe it's a relationship that you've been waiting on. Page of Cups. You really want to have love offered to you. If you look at these two people down here, they're like begging for some of that water. Like, I just want to have some water. Just give me something. That's what I say about the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. It's like, will you just give me something? It doesn't have to be a lot, just some kind of nourishment. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. She's watering her plants, waiting for those seeds to grow. And maybe you've been waiting for them for a very long time, but that cycle is ending. It's coming. You're not going to have to wait anymore. You're not going to have to wait much longer. So what's controlling you? Why do you feel stuck? Why do you feel like you're in a Knight of Pentacles state? Or if this is an earth sign that you're dealing with, is this the person, is this maybe a Taurus that you feel stuck with? Is this a Taurus that you may feel stuck with, the King of Pentacles? King of Pentacles is very sturdy, strong, takes care of things, grounded, doesn't really move very fast. When he wants to be somewhere, he's going to do it in his own time. Five of Swords. Again, there's like sneakiness here. You know, this guy's like, you know, running away with these swords. Like, I've got, I've got my stuff. I'm leaving. I'm out. He's, he's out. Did a Taurus do this to you? Or are you feeling like... And it doesn't have to be a Taurus. It could be any sign, any earth sign. Or it could be any sign that is just acting very, you know, like a very grounded, earthy energy. The Taurus, you know, feeling is, yes, it's very slow, but it's also very stubborn. And it's very strong. Um, but they're intelligent. And they know what they want. And when it's time to get it, they will get it. Um, so if you've been deceived by a Taurus or you have deceived a Taurus, then definitely there is this, this wanting, this need to get up and go. If it's a Virgo or a Capricorn, is that who you want to sneak away from? You were emotionally invested with them once. Maybe, <clears throat> but you want love, Ace of Pentacles. You want a new beginning that's sturdy and stable and the universe is saying that's coming to you. Your cycle is ending. You don't have to worry about it, it's coming. And this doesn't have to be like a big gift offering. It doesn't have to be like money falling from the sky. It doesn't have to be you know, an inheritance or somebody knocking on your door and giving you a big check. It can be a very small, tangible, stable opportunity or offer. 
And I think it has to do with love. We have lots of soulmate connections here. And when it comes to soulmate connections, it doesn't have to be romantic. I almost said romantical because that's my word. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be a friendship that you feel very, very close to this person. Um, and that could be the Taurus. You could be moving towards, I'm sorry, I keep saying Taurus. I'm not sure. I mean, there's got to be a reason why, but it could be the earth sign that you're moving towards and you're moving away from, maybe you're moving away from an earth sign. My neighbors are knocking on the wall. Um, maybe you're moving away from an earth sign to an earth sign. Very possible. And why? Why are we doing that? The Three of Swords, Broken Heart. I'm getting away from a broken heart, Four of Cups. And this guy's just waiting for love. And the thing is, is he's got Four Cups in front of him or around him, and he's like ignoring them. So there's a big emotional investment in this, and you want stability, the Four of Wands. You want that happiness. You want that very strong, compatible feeling inside of you that makes you feel like you're at home. <clears throat> but the sneakiness, if you're the one being sneaky and trying to get away, <clears throat> there's probably a better way, even, if, even though you feel controlled. And now... I will say, if you are in a very bad relationship that is, like, abusively controlling, by all means, sneak away. But if there's a conversation that needs to be had, oh, you guys. I know, don't you hate it when I do that? I pull all the cards. fantastic I love it okay so we have the death card I know I just said I love it in the death card but the death card's great because there's a transformation something has to die to be reborn and this could be a very aspect of you or it could be a relationship it doesn't have to be a relationship I kind of feel like it's a part of you that needs to be looked at a little deeper the shadow side we have the lover's card we have all of the soulmate cards out. This is a really big relationship. And there could have been either deception or things just aren't being said. The moon card is really just, you know, things that are kept in the dark. No communication happening. Things that need to come out. Seven of Wands. Standing your ground. Feeling victorious about all of the work that you've done. Maybe you've worked really hard on this relationship and you want to be recognized for it. Nine of Pentacles. This is usually like a very independent. She's very happy with all of what she's got and she's done it all herself. But if you look at this card, this woman is like talking to a squirrel like it's her last friend on earth like don't leave me don't leave me squirrel so you're like building this empire either within yourself or you know with work and you want to have somebody to share it with but but there are things that have been left out of the equation like what's been left out because movement forward with the chariot could be a cancer that you're dealing with. But the chariot is swift movement. You have a direction that you want to go and you are headed there with the 10 of cups. <clears throat> so if there's something that's controlling you or holding you back and you're really wanting to walk away from it, there's, there's a moon in this card as well. Sorry, it's all backwards when I try and do that. So I think that some things need to come out. Some things need to be talked about, um, opened up, so you can offer love, so you don't have this heartbreak anymore. You know? Um, 
because you feel like things are moving so slowly and you want to be the chariot. You so badly could be a Gemini. The lover's card is Gemini. Um, but I'm really feeling like there's earth energy like everywhere all over the place here. Um, but this relationship that either you have now or you're waiting for or you have had it and things have happened in the past, it's a really big relationship. So opening up, bringing things to light, not keeping things in the moon. It's going to move, it's going to catapult you forward. You're going to get to this 10 of cups state and this is what you're striving for. You know, this is what you're striving for. This is what you're striving for. You want to have it. You want to be offered it. You want to offer it. And it's coming. The stability. But the world, it's coming. <clears throat> so, the end of November looks pretty good. I mean, I know that we have the heart, the, I said the problem was the three of hearts, the three of swords, but I feel like that this can be repaired. Your heart can be repaired, whether it's in a new relationship or just renewing the relationship you currently have with this earth sign. So <clears throat> let me know what's going on. <clears throat> and I'm really kind of excited for you because I love all of this cups and love aspect that's going on here. Um, shop talk really quick. Uh, first, thank you to everybody who has donated to the channel. Um, it's really helping it to keep it going and running. Um, there's, I'm, you know, I've been really busy with it, um, you know, with readings and all of the other stuff when you're running a business. There's no way I'd be able to have another job. So your donations are very, very appreciated. And um, if you would like to donate and you're not ready for a reading, there is a link below where you can donate. Um, again, so appreciated. Also, the November reading specials are below, um, and I'm doing gift certificates for birthdays, holidays, whatever, and I will honor the reading prices for November, the specials. Um, what else? What else? Oh, Instant Go is an app that iPhone users can put on. Um, I want everybody to please, please, please remember if you use the Instant Go app in the very first text that you send. Um, make sure you have the question and the sun sign for you and the other people involved in the first question. Otherwise, you're going to be charged if I have to ask you for the sun signs. And I'm not here to gouge everybody. So, you know, I just want to be able to help you guys. Yeah, I'm making a living, but I don't want to gouge you. So um, I don't want to be unfair about that. So please make sure the first text that you send has all of the information in it. And, oh, I'll be traveling starting in December. Um, the first weekend in December, I'll be in Iowa. If you want any information on that, email me. And um, I'll be starting like a West or an East Coast thing um, in January. I will be in Pennsylvania at some point in December as well. Those details have not been ironed out. Um, but I will be doing East Coast starting in Florida um, after the first of the year. So if you guys want me to stop by and you get a group together and you want to have some readings, let me know and we'll talk it out. And I hope you guys have a really good Thanksgiving for those who are celebrating and have a wonderful November. And I will be back for your December reading.